Hey guys, uh, we haven't done a video for a little while. Hopefully you saw our Marmite Challenge video yesterday. Uh, well, Lucas and Bert... Don't understand why people do these things. Eat a jar of Marmite. I don't know, I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, but I'm pretty firmly in the no thanks Marmite camp. Um, yeah. I don't understand why you want to eat a jar of Marmite. I don't even want to it's eat like a, that cinnamon don't challenge even want my one. toast. You know, it's like yeah. cinnamon one. I've heard about it. Yeah. Trying to eat a bowl of uh, a spoon of cinnamon, but at least cinnamon tastes nice. Whereas Marmite is... Gross. Umagi, isn't it? Umagi? It's the sixth, um, because so you get salty, right? you get sweet, right? you get hot, and you get umagi, the fourth sensation. And that's what Marmite is. Are you? So it's none of those, is it? It's none of those four senses. Are you making that up? Anyway, we're going to do... I'm not making it up. Look it up. Look it up, guys. Look it up, fans. Um, phone's off, Dan. We are doing our shop tour. Shop tour. Shop tour. We haven't done one for a while. I don't think. I think we did one when we moved in. Yeah. Um, so so really. things have changed. Silent then. Yeah. This is my phone silent. All right. Yeah. Keeping it pro. Pro. Mine, mine's actually on actually as well. Don't call okay. No one can call you. No, no one call me, guys. Yeah. No one call me. Nobody calls um, you. It's fine. No, no one calls me anyway. True. Yeah. But we're gonna do a shop tour. We're gonna show you guys. How it's been going. Um, usually we do like our get videos, but we've had so many gets in and out. If you're on our Facebook page and the Play Nation Games on Facebook, you'll have seen them. Mm. There's been a crap ton of gets. Gets, gets again. Conquest Bad Fur Day. Twice. Twice. Double. A box and unbox. For bit, example. Bit of hate of that. Yeah, we? we've had some weird times. But guys, listen, you have to understand, these games are very rare. So sometimes it doesn't matter if the game was 45 quid when you bought it 10 years ago, yeah. it's not going to be our price now. But, but, what, but hold on, well, shouldn't what? we charge people, should we charge a lot less for the game if someone five years ago found it at a boot fair for a fiver? We could, we could carry on about this, but we're not going to, because that would make us no. seem petty and irritated. No, we're anyway, not. <laughs> moving on. So we're going to start the shop tour here. We usually start by the door. Today we're going to start here. Yep. So what we're going to show is all of the trading cards that we do. So we start off with all our card fight vanguard. So we've got the latest sets up to a lot of the older sets. We also do Vi Sports, which is a great, um, so say German card game, but that's not right. I it's not know. German, it's Japanese. <laughs> it's Jap this is Japanese. What isn't? Okay, then we've got another German card game. Stop Imagine calling the them German card games. I think it's German. Look at all the, like, right. gods and stuff like that. What, the German gods? You know, and... No. People, so anyway, Magic the Gathering is not German, as I'm sure you're all aware. Okay, okay. Then, we've got our collection of Pokemon. German. That is German, isn't that it? That is German. That is German. Yeah, fair play. We all know that. Yeah. Uh, my Little Pony. Mine Little Pony. Punish? Punish. Which is, uh, is that German for Swedish. mine? Swedish, actually. Oh, same difference. Swedish game. It's all foreign. Okay. <laughs> so you've got set one, and we've got Cantaloupe Knights, which is set two. Okay, then we've got our collection here next to the Game Boy of Future Card Buddy Fights. So, by the time you watch this, we will have all the boosters in stock, including Drums Adventure, which goes in there. Yep, it's been a busy day today. We do our Card Club days on the weekends. Yeah. Of course, we're filming this on Sunday, so Card Club has rinsed us. But don't worry, yeah. we'll have them back in stock soon. And then directly from Peru, we've got Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is Peruvian? It's Peruvian. Peruvian for... Peru Lovely cards. For a lovely card, lovely cards. card game. Okay, then moving this way, we've got all your decks for all of the different card games. Up here, we've got all your card sleeves for Yu-Gi-Oh! and Vanguard. And for My Little Gathering and... My Little Gathering. <laughs> my Little the Gathering. <laughs> for My Little Gathering. <laughs> and... Future great. Card Pony Fight. Future Card Ponies. Future Card Pony right. Fight. That's, uh, that's great. Um, moving on from sports games, uh, card games rather actually, uh, we'll take it over to, where is the, where's the Switch? Switch? I'll find, you find the Switch Dan. Yeah, I'll go this way, you I'll go this way. Too. Leave me alone. Okay, so over here, we've got loads of Unbox, Mega Drive games, PSP games, 32X games, Master System games, and more on the bottom. Then up here, a little bit of a, something different for us, is we've got a little bit of manga in. And they're all 3 99 or 3 for a tenner. Isn't it pronounced manhua? Or man manga? Manga. Manga. Yeah, we've got, we've got all the manga. Sorry, I'm down to a bit more au okay with the um, Mon Japanese manga. Um, That's what you want. Stuff with me. So you've got all the manga. Got the mingi. 
the Mingi. That's the Mingi. Okay, over here we've got a massive, great big bank of Mega Drive games from the top to the bottom, including Shaq Fu, Kid Chameleon, Wrestle War. It's a bit it's embarrassing. Good, all you want is Shaq Fu. They got me on the cover. Oh, boom, boom. behind the muffin guy. Yeah, behind the muffin guy. Okay, we got them all. FIFA 97, and we've got some good games as well. So if you come this way, okay. In here, top shelf, we've got absolutely loads of Game Boy Advance games boxed. Next shelf down, we've got a huge, great big collection of unboxed um, Super Nintendo games, including Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. Me, Super I Metroid. I think you've lost it. Forget what? What switch? A switch for the lights, mate. What lights? I've turned it. I don't know where they are. Loads of snares. Loads of snares. Next level down, we've got loads of N64, loads. including uh, Marjorie's mask. Marjorie's mask. Marjorie's mask. Uh, we got Pexon and Banjo Two Ts. Um, that was actually close. That could be a lot worse. Perfect, perfect dog. Um, Gauntlet Legions. Yep. Got them all. Moving yep. this way. Got two pack. Oh damn, it's too late for that joke. Uh, two pack. I just thought that one now. I, oh. I missed it. Two pack two. Top shelf. Well, I'll start at the top. We've got Akari Warriors. Loads of NES games there. Let's get in there quick and just get a quick eyeball of those NES games. Because there's a lot to go through and we're not going to do it. You don't, you don't want to hear that, would you? Yeah, you don't want to hear me talking about how much I love Kick Cubicle or Snake Rat and the Roll. Say it again, Kick Cubicle. Kick Cubicle? Kick Cubicle. Kick Cubicle. Kick Cubicle. Okay, next shelf down. We'll absolutely be rinsed of these today. Um, so we did have lots of good Super Nintendo box games. Now we've only got a medium amount of good box <laughs> Super box Nintendo games. games. Two PGA Tour Golf, so mind you, and so, one FIFA Soccer. Have you got Cybernator in stock? We have got Cybernator in stock. Yes. Oh, we've yeah. got one really nice condition one and one less nice condition one without the yeah. manual. So. Okay, next shelf down. We've got, these are games from around the world. Literally two places. So, yeah, so they'll come from America. So you get games you only ever get in America, like The Addams Family, Star Wars, and games from Japan um, that you can only ever get in Japan, like NBA Basketball. Don't forget Super Battle Tank 2. Super Battle Tank 2. Which was a Japanese only game. Japanese only game, but it's in an American box. Yeah. Okay. Um, Down below, we also have some Japanese. Unboxed games as well uh, yeah. for the Super Famicom, of course. There's some really nice ones there, like Star Ocean, um, that one, and. But so to still. play these guys, you do have to know Moon Language. Really? So Are we really going to call it Moon Language? That's what they call it. That's not what they it's call it. It's the Land of the Moon, Land of the Sun, land Sun of the Language, Sun, sun land. land of the Sun. Uh, okay, over here we've got loads of Master System games. Do you want to get in there and just have a? Good, real good. Oh, they might be too close with the stairs here. Well, never mind. Um, then we've got Dreamcast games, they're all the light blue ones. And at the bottom, we've got, got a uh, mishmash. I think that's Bing a, Bang, Slam Bing Bang, Slammer Jammer. We've got, we got a slap about. I've got, we've got of, a um, flapper, flap, flippity flop flap, of Atari, Amiga, Amiga PC, Spectrum. Commodore 64. We've got a Shimmily Bim Bam. Shimmily Bim Bam. And what's good about this lot? is me and Dan have got no idea about pricing for these, so you're probably <laughs> going to get some absolute bargains. What are you talking about, mate? Exile should definitely be 15 99 50 I, I don't know. The Chaos Engine? I was pricing most of them up as 99p. Yeah. I don't know. To be fair, uh, we do love like the older machines, like the Commodore and the Amiga and the Atari. I had an Atari, Stu had an Amiga. Um, yeah. Shouldn't have fun, Stu. That's a shop farm, isn't it? Stop now, stop now, it's all right. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we did have them. Uh, only thing is though that I was too poor to buy more than like two games. And Didn't you just, you just copy them? That's what I did. Don't worry, mate. I was legitimate all the way. 100%. No, well, I, I went I went to school in Dover, and then Dover is a very poor area, so we just stole Dover's games like... off each other. <laughs> so you came from the ghetto of Dover, honestly, where you guys were on the streets. I, I, was, I was in the gang. You were in the Amiga gang. I was in I was in the gang. Were you like popping over like a kid? You want some? Uh... I got some. Uh, no, we, we, yeah. we used to meet in the church hall and exchange games. Right. It, it was quite. Wow, in street. the house of God. Yeah, okay. Whoa, okay. Hardcore. But it, was a, it was a gang, though. Not even, doesn't even care about religion. Yeah. Over here, we've got our repair bay. Which I do care about religion. 
What about what? it? I, I care about it. Give me your thoughts on Shintoism. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. If you're a Shintoist, <laughs> just keep it Shinto. Keep it Shinto! Repair bay, still here, still repairing. Um, oh yeah, it's nice, I just finished doing that actually. Got lights and everything. Uh, over here we've got our unboxed N64 games. We've got some really nice ones actually, and a lot of um, um, American ones too. Uh, got Paper Mario, uh, got two Paper Mario actually. We've got Smash Brothers, we've got uh, Holy Magic Century, and what's the one you played a little while ago, Stu? Adults. Con Conkers. No, the other one. Adults oh. Loomby Doomby. Oh, uh, yes, we did have that one yesterday. I sold it. Oh, never mind then. Let's go around. Okay. Stuart's on it like Sonic. On it. Sonic. Sonic on a bonnet. In the meantime, though, we go over here, which doesn't have a light, we can see what we were talking about earlier, which is some stuff like Yoshi's Island, another Paper Mario, Ruby, Pokemon Ruby. And below, Conquest Bad Fur Day. I'm getting to that. I was building up the tension. Oh, right. You've well, you ruined it, it now, mate. You've ruined it now. I was building up to... Don't forget to show them the, the Jaguar game. Do you want to just do it yourself? No, no, you do it. You're doing good. You're doing good. Whatever. Conquest Bad Fur Day. Way. The unboxed one is gone. The unboxed one is sixty seven ninety nine. Is it here? No, it's here. It's up here. All right, it's up there. It's, do you know, I've sort of hidden it great. on purpose. That's great. Let's go back to the other games here. We'll talk about the comics later on. So we've got some great stuff like Rocket Adventures, that's quality, Tulsi Abyss, all sorts there. And then at the very bottom, we've got some Jaguar games. Now, the Jaguar, as we all know, is the machine that truly, I feel, won the console wars. It but, won uh, every console It won war. all the console wars. It's still wars. winning. It's, uh, do you know what, honestly? I was thinking about Xbox One, PS4, Jaguar. Yeah, it's up there. We know what's up. It, it's a big debate. It's, it's, that's not a debate, mate. The Jaguar wins. Okay. Standard. Over here, in a rather bare cupboard, because we've actually really pushed out a lot of stuff recently, we've got our board and card games. Now, we've got Netrunner, which is done by Sinker, who made Magic the Gathering, that well-known German card game. Uh, we've got also our Dunnies, which we'll get to later on. Is it Richard Sigfield? Richard Sigfield. That's, that's his name. Uh, and over here we've got also why are you talking about this one here? This is yours. This is oh, your this is this a little beauty here, a Mattel Electronics Aquarius. And well done to Matthew Pollard. He won the chance to purchase this. Yes, good job. And well, um, since he won the chance to purchase the, this, we haven't seen him. No. He's, no. he's not been in. I think he got scared. I think he got scared by the um, the power of it. Yeah. Um, next shelf down, uh, Street Fighter 2. PCB boards for the arcade machines. Now, yeah. up till recently, we had a bunch of these, loads of stuff, Neo Geo and Jammer. But unfortunately, well, not for us, for you, because you can't buy them now. Somebody came in, several people came in oh, and Lord. purchased a lot. Yeah. So, thanks guys, but you other ones can't get them. Bottom shelf, loads of 3DO goodness. And a Pac-Man board <clears> game. <throat> okay, over here, we have our PlayStation 1. So I'm not going to really point out titles, we've got everything basically. Yeah, I think we've actually got a complete collection here. If you want to, if you want to play yourself a nice bit of a Kiss Pinball, or a Psychic Force, or a Risk, or Keep 2000, uh, or some other game, I don't know what this is called. This is, just, this is just jank, I'm not really sure what this is about. This one here, I think it's some kind of baby game. I don't know. Anyway, if you want to play one of these serious games for real players, you know where to come. Okay. Then, um, on this side here, our main wall, we're not going to really point out games on here, is the Xbox 360. Uh, you know, a brilliant console. It won the last generation, absolutely smacked down the, the PlayStation 3. It was just such a great console. And, you know... Down to it really, uh, the online player of the Xbox 360. There's a party just, ranger. There's a party ranger. Red. Anyway, over here <laughs> is our new section. Okay, so if you're looking at this and you're seeing prices uh, and you've watched this in three months' time, you know, we're not overpriced, it's just old prices. Okay, so as well as all the last gen, we do the up to date gen. Um, so up -to -date gen, it's up to date gen, that's, that's what they say, yeah. So Xbox uh, One or the PlayStation 4. Okay, so we've got some DS games here. There you go, DS games. Over here, we've got some PSP games, including actually my favourite, Luminous. Brilliant game that is. Very good music. We still got um, good old Uncle Phil here being our original arcade machine. You change the name that every time. Dan. No, no, Uncle Phil's just one because he's big and black. 
And Maria's the little white one. She's in the uh, she's in the pub right now. So there you go. Plus, um, you know, replaces my dad. This one's Uncle Phil because he's big and black. Because he, he, he replaces my because he replaces my dad. That's why that's why he's called Uncle Phil. Uh, cool. Yeah, he's great. So that, so that is your replacement father. Yes. Yes. Regular so Dan, so unfortunately, he's got issues like family issues. Isn't his dad, isn't his dad dead in Fresh Prince? I think so, Mike. Yeah, his dad's dead in Fresh Prince. So I think got. the real guy has, yeah. My dad's not dead. No. <laughs> Don't want to wish that one. Let's, go, let's move on, shall we? Let's move PlayStation on to 3 as well. Yeah. Okay, so we start at this end here. We've got, this is basically where we put the, the creme de la creme, or I like to call it the custard of the shop. What? Creme de la creme is no. French for custard. No, it's not. Take the differ. Um, so we start, oh no, sorry, anyway, really. But as you can see, we've got Mega Drives, Super Nintendos, um, Xbox 360s, um, PlayStation 3s, collection of old figures, um, old figures, figures. We do uh, models and figures, um, you know, like gaming models, gaming figurines. We do collectible figurines as well, like the dunnies and monies and such. Yeah, um, we've got PlayStation 4 there. So if you want to be hit with the kids, uh, get a PlayStation 4, uh, Mannequin Piss. Uh, moving on, a little bit about more of the card games that we do. Yeah. Um, so we've got all of the fat packs, trainer boxes, commander decks. If it's for card games, we got it. And if it isn't yeah. here, it's probably out of stock, we'll get it soon. Hey, exactly. And uh, we do all the lots of booster boxes for all the current sets as well. So don't think, oh, I'll get my booster box online, you might as well come to a shop and get them as well. Hopefully you can trade in as well to save money. Trade in, exactly. Trade if you move in down here money. though, we've got your PSPs oh, and a bit of a mess. DSs. Bit of a mess. Oh, don't worry about that. It's a huge fault. The yeah, I was in today. Yeah. Sorry guys. Sorry. Further down, you've got the Game Boy SPs. You've got a nice collection of Game Boy SPs there. I actually collect Game Boys, so I've got all these already and you can't uh, have mine. But these are here, you can have them. Yeah. And further down from there, we've got a Spectrum and a TV4. Now, we could actually go outside and look in the front window where some really nice stuff is. I'll, put, I'll pull the shutters down. Then we can't do that. There's some real gems upstairs. in that window. There's <laughs> some real gems in that front window that you can't look at, sorry. So, follow us upstairs. Quickly, Malcolm. Okay, check out the new floor. Hayley, you might be on full camera here if you stand, keep on standing there. Alright, well, now that all the lights are on. This is the new gaming lounge upstairs. We have, well, we've got this man here. Do you want to ID? Yeah, here he is. Yeah, yeah. He's such a legend. <laughs> there we go. Upstairs we have a new counter as well, where we sell more card games and such as well. And we have a fantastic fridge, which was a dream card for the recently. Now it's just a fridge. Yeah, Over here we have uh, our, game, our game wall, and also we my board games as well. Check them out, I'm going to We've got the new floor, it's all very nice, we've got a lot of fans, so it's really, really warm. Um, and we have TVs on the wall. Now, we use these when we do events. We do Street Fighter, Mario Kart, General Gaming, Bomberman, uh, what else we do? All sorts, and they're all once a month. Do so you Settlers want... Nights? Set what? Settlers. Settlers what? We, we can come up here and play Settlers too. No, we don't. Uh, on land, no, we don't. computers. Stop talking. So, we do all that stuff there. Um, check our Facebook page, play some games and like us on there to get more information on when we're doing our events and what's going on. Check out the photos as well. You come down, you can see yourself on there. It's a good time, it's a good time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Please like, share, subscribe. Yeah.